muted.
Hallelujah! Welcome to the Glory Tabernacle Healing and Deliverance Prayer Line Live together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. We are broadcasted globally tonight. And this is the portion that we share the word. And before I call on Pastor Mel, I would like to call on number 347. Seven nine four five to open up in prayer. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Heavenly Father, O oh Lord our God, we are here again before Thee. We want you to thank you, O oh God, for Your grace and mercy that was renewed unto us this day and has brought us this far. Now, Father God, we are. We have gathered together in this line, and yes, we expect that the Holy Spirit will be here with us according to your word. Two, more than two of us are gathered in this prayer line. Even much more will come in, O oh God. And so, Father God, we want to commit the word that you have prepared through your servant. We pray, O oh Lord, to prepare every heart that they would receive and understand, O oh God. And do according as the word will teach us tonight. We as believers having the authority you granted unto us, we come up against all interferences in the radio waves. 
and whatever similarity they may be doing outside, may the Holy Ghost fire consume them as you protect your servants. And may you be exalted and be blessed with this message. In Jesus' name, we are giving you the thanks and the praise. Amen. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister. May I call on Pastor Mel? Huh? Hallelujah. Good evening, everyone. This is Pastor Mel. I'll be sharing with you tonight uh, about the Holy Word of God. We are going to the book of Second Peter, chapter 3, verses 10 to 11. Second Peter, chapter 3, verses 10 to 11. This is our text tonight. The title of the message tonight is, Are You Serious About Eternity? Are you serious about eternity? Let me just open up in prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord, that you have made this night again, O God, a very precious night, O God, that we can come together, O God. People of God, prayer intercessor, O God, and those who will be joining us tonight, the opportunity and the privilege, God, to even lift up our hands, O oh God, and our joining the worship, Lord, worship and the praises song, O oh God, tonight, not because of our good works, O oh God, or things that we do in life, but because you are worthy, God. You are worthy of all praises, God. You are worthy of honor and what you did for us at the cross of Calvary, the shedding of your blood. You are worthy, God. You are worthy. May your Holy Spirit now bless this hour with your presence, God, that we may be refreshed from our works of this week. For you said in your word, God, come to me all who labor and heavy laden, I will give you rest. So tonight... We are resting in you, God. Lord, I pray that you will touch us tonight to come into your presence with, with a contrite heart, Lord, with a broken heart, as we hear your holy word, O oh God, your precious word of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, O oh God. Lord, make us more faithful, O oh God, in these coming days, God, the coming week, coming months, coming year, that we may be able to resist all temptation that come our way, God. Remove all destruction or distracting thoughts, God, from our mind tonight as we listen to your word, O oh God. Lord, I pray that you'll pour out your blessing now among your people on this prayer line, the prayer warrior, the, the prayer intercessor, O oh God, even the silent listener on this prayer, prayer line, Lord, that we may give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praises in Jesus' precious holy name. And everyone say, Amen. And hallelujah. Title of the message again tonight are, is, Are you serious about your eternity? You know, my question is, Who will you lead to heaven? Who are you going to lead to heaven? That's why it's time to get serious about eternity. Like, you know, pause for a moment. Think about your life, about your every moment from the time you were born until right now or tonight. Think of all the living you uh, the living you've done, the challenges you face, and the future is still before you. That's why our time on earth is full of what demanding. But the truth is that. It's only a brief period in our existence. We will be here on earth if you are so blessed. Uh, maybe you reach 100 years old, but that's it. Someday it will come to a close and much sooner than we realize. On the horizon is the larger segment of our life. And what is that? Eternity with God, where we are going to be with Him for all eternity, from everlasting to everlasting. So as we step, step be, beyond the threshold of this world that we are in, into the fullness of His kingdom, but how often do we think about the glorious future that await you and me who trusted in Him? So if we're honest, there's so much to do right now that eternity... You know, it's often an up 
afterthought. We don't think of eternity right now because we are so preoccupied of the things of this world. Maybe we have dreams, unfulfilled dreams. Maybe we have goals or maybe desire we long to see fulfilled. So we are so busy of uh, preoccupied of this thing. And all of this can dominate what our thoughts and also dictate our action. Yet the fact remains, our time in this world amounts to a tiny, very tiny fragment of the whole. If you compare that to eternity, okay, we would be foolish to spend all our energy only on the here and now, not the future of eternity. In other words, your home, your job, your bank account, your, uh, your desire, your temporal uh, goals, dreams will vanish. They will disappear. Only one thing from the world, as we know, that it will last forever. And what is it? Your spirit with God. Okay? And, and, and you will dwell in one of those two places when the time comes. Whether you are going to heaven or you going to hell. Which way you are going, I don't know. But we will go through tonight what will happen uh, when you leave the threshold of this world. So for us believers in Christ, greatest, the greatest investment okay, we can make tonight or today is in the eternal destiny of yourself, of your family, of your friends, maybe your neighbors, even strangers. Instead of focusing all your time, all your effort, all your money on the things of this world, why not make a difference? Focus it on the eternity. So, according to First Timothy, chapter, let me see, chapter two, verses three to four, the Lord's desire, the Lord, it says, desire all men to be saved. So that, that should be our, <coughs> excuse me, desire to, that all men to be saved from sins and death. So we are concerned about our family, our friends, our neighbor, and strangers, because one day they will go somewhere, and that somewhere will be determined of what you are going to do right now. So here in First Timothy 2, Chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, his offer of salvation includes no one. Uh, I mean, exclude no one. And he reaches out to sinners like you and me before we got saved with compassion and love. However, the Lord forgives only, remember this, the Lord forgives only those who repented of their sin and believe Jesus is the Son of God. So, accept and accepting His atoning sacrifice on your behalf or on behalf of someone. So, though many people will resist or reject our message tonight, okay, we will have a responsibility. What? To proclaim what? The good news of salvation to every at every opportunity that God will give us. So you never know when God will open someone's heart to receive Savior. Aren't you glad that the person who, who told you about Christ didn't give up one hour before talking to you? Especially me, if that person did not pursue about my salvation, I would not be a pastor. I would not be saved. I would never be a born again. So someone gave up a few minutes of their time to show me the right way to go to eternity. So yet we should never think that receiving the gift of salvation is all that 
the Lord intended for you and me. Why? He wants us to continually grow in the knowledge of who He is. About what? The truth. Because once you know the truth, the truth will set you free. By what? By communion with God in prayer and reading the Word of God every single day of your life. That's how He transformed you and me, transform our character, transform our attitude, transforms our behavior so that we will resemble what? His Son and impact non-believers. So if we remain ignorant of the truth of God, we have nothing to share with those who don't know Him, who don't know the Lord, who don't know Messiah. So what would we do? Our commission now comes in. Millions of people know nothing about Jesus, okay? And we're the one once God has commanded to take the message to them. Both corporately as the church and individually in our sphere of influence, we have the responsibility to go and make disciples of all nations. That's why we are serious about eternity. We are serious about the destiny of our family, our loved ones, our wives, our spouses, our children, our grandchildren. We are concerned about their eternal destiny of our friend, our, even our neighbor next door, even strangers alike. So we are concerned about them. So remember there will be there this there are truths about this matter and I will give you maybe four of them. Why we are should uh, we should be so serious about the eternal destiny of someone, especially especially our loved one. I have I think, uh, let me see, four or five, uh, yeah, four reasons why we should be so concerned about the eternal destiny of others. Number one, God proclaimed that we are the light of the world, okay? And you know that. If you are a student of the Bible in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14, it says that you are the light. Of the world. What does it mean? Jesus told his disciples that we are the light of the world. When light enters a room, it drives out what? The darkness, allowing those inside to see more clearly. So your presence should have what? The effect on those with whom you live and work. Whom you live, your loved ones. And where do you work? Your co-workers. So you are, if uh, you, your lives will will affect every single one those around you, because you are the light of the world. That's what the Lord said. So some of the people in the room will be glad for the truth revealed to them, or those people around you, but others, it's a fact, will reject it. Because they prepare the darkness that allows them to deny their sins. Okay? So this is the effect of you are the light of the world. You bring yeah. about the truth about God okay. to those around you because you bring light Should to them. Tape on they are in darkness. Remember when you were, uh, when you, before you were born again? You were in darkness. But someone okay. pursue to come to you and bring about the truth. And number two, you are what? The salt of the what? earth. That's in Matthew 5, yeah. 13. What does it mean if you are the salt yeah. of the earth? Salt adds flavor, preserve food from what? From decaying or from corruption. Some people will respond favorably to your witness. They'll want what you have because they see 
what? They see the love, they see the joy, they see the peace of Christ displayed in you. Where? In your words, in your action, in your attitude, the way you conduct your life. They will see that. And others, uh, but others feel the salt of your life as uh, irritant. So you can please everyone, but you can please some of them. That's your role in this world. You become the salt of the earth. You will not please everyone, but you will please some of them. And they want nothing to do with Jesus. However, no matter how people respond, whether they reject you or please with your what you're declaring to them, you cannot stop sharing the message of salvation of Christ by means of example and words. Number three. Number three, you are to teach them. Okay, you are to disciple them, teach them, show them the way that they should go. In Matthew twenty-eight twenty, Matthew twenty-eight twenty, we know this. If you are a student of the Bible, when Jesus commissioned you and me, or commissioned us to make disciple, He also told us what to teach them. You do, you just uh, uh, bring salvation lead someone to salvation, but you stop there. You have to teach them, because that's what it says in the Word of God. Teach them oh, and to observe all the com- all He commanded us. Okay. So too often, we focus on getting people to be saved, but leave them. Leave them and never touch, uh, show them anything else. So, so we leave them with no one to follow up with them. After accepting Christ as my Savior in my case, I needed someone. I needed someone to teach me. I needed someone to disciple me. I needed someone to show me the truth, the ways, the truth of the Scripture and the ways of God. Remember, the Lord's desire is what? His desire is that His people grow in the knowledge of the truth so they can be transformed and equip others too. It's not only you, but you are transformed, you are equipped to the knowledge, to grow in the knowledge of truth so that you can also teach others, show them the way that they should go also according to the truth. So our goal is to become disciples who can make Disciples, okay? That's our goal tonight. Become a disciple and make disciples also because that's what the commandment of God in our lives. He said, make disciples of all nations, not only those who are in line with your uh, culture, tribe, but all, he said, all nations. And the last one, you are what? To warn them. I hope you remember number one is you are the salt of the world. Number two, you are, uh, uh, number one is you are the light of the world. Number two, you are the salt of the earth. Number three, you are to teach them. Number four, you are, the last one is you are to warn them. You have to warn them. The message we share with the world has two sides. The good and the bad news, okay? Our natural preferences is to draw what? The loss with the benefit of trusting Christ as the Savior. But we also have the responsibility to what? To warn them about the judgment that awaits those who, who reject them. So we have to warn them if they reject Him, we have to warn them about the consequences, about the result. So to, to withhold this truth, what happened? Their eternal destiny is at stake. That's why God saved you in order God can use you also to save others. That's why it is a must that we must be serious 
about the eternity of others, especially our loved ones, those who are around us every single day of our life. Can you imagine if you got saved, you go to heaven, and your your wife or your husband left behind going to hell, or your children going to hell, and you are in heaven? Can you imagine that? So you have you have to warn them, warn them that the the the, the that their eternal destiny is at stake. If you saw someone like you know uh, a truck, a huge truck advancing towards someone facing the opposite direction on the road, you would try to alert that person that there's a coming truck, so you will sway him away out of the path of the of speeding truck. So that's what we're gonna do. We warn them that their eternal destiny it is at stake. So you respond now. Now it's your turn. What happened? It's your turn. How are you going to respond to what you have just uh, just heard tonight? Will you make an investment in the in the life of the people around you? That their destiny is uh, that they have assurance where they are going at the end of of their life. So you have no idea what God can do if you'll start growing in Christ and sharing what your faith with others concerning about their eternal destiny. You're sure about your destiny about uh, how about how about others? So start by. If you have not repented of your sin right now, start by repenting of sin and seek to know the truth of the Scripture. Then the Lord will equip you. He will equip you for the work. He especially have a plan for you in His kingdom. So the reward for doing your part to fulfill this commission is twofold. Not only with the eternal destiny of a lost person, especially your loved one, be changed, but someday, someday you will see the reward in heaven for you faithfully in obedience to His Word. So tonight is the night that we have to examine ourselves. Okay? You know, nobody knows what the future holds. You don't know. I don't know. And for many of us, that's an unsettling reality. What about all our plans, our goals, our our ambition in attempts to be wise about tomorrow? Are they all for nothing? You know, our efforts to be a steward of the life God has given us are always valuable. But there's something we need to remember. We can set all the goals all ambition, make all the plan, and exercise all the wisdom within our means, but we just don't know what's going to happen next. Okay? We don't know. So, you know, markets, our stock market can crash. You know, funds can dry up. Your savings can dry up. Even your health can fail. To name just a few possibility, like like it or not, life in this world has a way of surprising us. You know, everything is going p- fine, then all of a sudden something will happen. Okay, so the future may may be a question mark, but there's one aspect of our destiny that is not. For those of us who trust Jesus Christ as Savior, we know that. The final outcome of our life will be what? Eternal peace, eternal joy, eternal rest. With who? With the Lord Jesus Christ. Whatever happened between now and the moment we enter the gates of heaven, only God knows. But the sureness or assurance of our home with Him is the single outcome we cannot count on undeniably. For those who don't know the Lord tonight, your outcome, their outcome is just a certain, a certain but infinitely less pleasant. 
It's not pleasant at all. Yet too many of us are focused on our lives in this world. We are so pro- preoccupied of these things of this world, your car, your house, your work, or whatever, that we have not bothered to think about where our non-believing friends, non-believing household member, loved ones, non-believing neighbors, where they are going to spend eternity. How should this realization impact the course of your life, my life, starting tonight? No matter how unstable the world we live in becomes, and even if all our earthly prospect, goal, dreams, Honest, what happened? There is still a wise, very wise investment we can make regardless of our circumstances. And what is it? An investment in eternity. Because that's where we are all going to. My fellow brother and sister, maybe friends on this prayer line live, even silent listener. I hope you'll take this truth to heart, okay? I pray that you will be strengthened in your resolve to live for the right kind of future, the one that will never end, your eternal destiny in Jesus' precious holy name. And this is the end of our sharing tonight. Father... We praise you tonight, God. We thank you, Lord, for your precious word, O oh God. O oh God, and no word of your of yours return void, but accomplices that which you please in it prosper in the thing for which you sent it tonight, God. So Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, we confess, and we believe that this body of intercessor, O oh God, this body of Oh, oh, standing in the gap for others, even your witnesses of the testimony of your son Jesus, our gifts and our talents are the progress of our good work in which you truly delight tonight, God. In the testimony of Christ are being confirmed in each and every single one of us here on this prayer line live, God. Lord, we pray tonight that in this last day, We will not lose heart, and we will not grow weary and faint as your witnesses to the word in this last day that all around us, Lord, all around us will be saved, God, as you equip us, Lord, as you strengthen us, O God, to do the works, God, to do the works, O God, of an evangelist, O God, of a a believer's God. So, Father... As we are in obedience to to your word tonight, may you be with us, O oh God, all the way, O oh God, until, until we reach home, our eternal destiny, O oh God. So, Father, thank you, O oh God, for your grace and your mercy that we can look up to you and be your witnesses in this last hour and make a difference in the life of others through the strength of your Holy Spirit, O oh God. O oh God, so, Lord, we pray tonight and dedicate and consecrate our lives, O oh God, O oh God, of our dear loved ones, O oh God, to, to you, God. For we know that you are, O oh God, you are true to all your promises in the world that we, that we have now, Lord, that whatever we do in word or deed, we will do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, giving him praise and glory in Jesus, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Mel, for that word. And tonight's message is, Are you serious about your eternity? Scripture readings are from Second Peter chapter 3, verse 10 to 11. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 2 to 4. Also Matthew 5, verses 13 and 14. Hallelujah. I hope you take note of those things and you can read them again so you can understand it more. Hallelujah. 
Once again, this is the Glory Tabernacle Healing and Deliverance Prayer Line together with the Consuming Fire Radio Ministry. We are broadcasted globally tonight, and we are in the portion of taking your prayer requests. Anyone on the prayer line with a prayer request, the line is open for you. Anybody has a prayer request? May I call on eight six zero nine six six. Do you have any prayer requests? Sister Claire, um, this is Samantha. I'm asking you if you can please um, pray for my ex-husband to bring my kids back to me. He don't want to bring them back anymore to me. Hmm. Is that uh, Natasha? Natasha and my son okay. Dylan. Oh, okay. Natasha and Dylan. Every other weekend, he usually bring them to me for them to spend the weekend to me so by he me. So he don't want to bring them. But now uh, he don't want to. No, he don't right. want to bring them anymore. No. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for tonight. Lord, we thank you for the word that you gave us through Pastor Mel, that, Lord, help us, Lord God, to witness to the people around us, Lord God, that our families, our co-workers, our neighbors, that, Lord, you are the way, Lord God. And, Lord, that as they come to know you, Lord God, they will be free from judgment of hell, Lord God, but will be with you in heaven for eternity, Lord. And, Lord, we pray, Lord God, for Sister Samantha, Lord, we pray for her situation, Lord God. Lord, she has custody of her kids for only the weekends, Lord God, but her husband is trying to keep them away from her, Lord God. But, Lord, we ask you, Lord God, to intervene on her behalf tonight, Lord God. We pray, Lord God, that you would bring your... This service is provided by freeconferencing.com. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. Please enter your access code followed by the pound. This menu will repeat. You exceeded number of attempts. Please contact customer service if you need assistance. Goodbye. This service is provided by free conferencing. Access code participants in this conference. This conference is being recorded. Please announce a week and that, that the Lord will see, you know. Uh, I mean, we, uh, use me that the, the, uh, the light will shine upon them, you know, as I'll be doing the job. Knowledge and wisdom too and protection, of course, because they're gay. <laughs>
Amen. Hallelujah. Let me call on uh, 347536. Hi. Uh, can you lift up the prayer request of Sister Jo? Mm-hmm. All right. She'll be starting her work on next week. It's also she has a part time job for a gay couple and she was asking for prayers that God use her to minister to this gay couple, you know. Mm-hmm. All right, sister. Dear God, our loving Father, uh, we thank you again for this wonderful moment we are that you God would us here together in the prayer line. We thank you for the word that you have shared, uh, you have given to Pastor Mel, and we are richly blessed with your word. Thank you for the people who come to the prayer line tonight, especially for those who are uh, just listening, oh God. Uh, please hear the cry of their hearts. And we right now we are lifting to you, Sister Jo, uh, and once again you showed your your mercy and your compassion for your daughter for giving her the opportunity to work, Lord, for uh for this uh baby. May she be may please you use her, oh God to uh to share the truth about you, so this par- the parents of this baby will uh, open their eyes in that your love abounds in their house, that your presence is in their house, and that uh, your presence only and will she be the the salt and light of the earth in that house, O oh God. Please uh, give her the courage, the knowledge to speak, the wisdom to uh, to discern what is to be uh, to be uh, said in front of these people, so that they can hear the truth about you, Lord Jesus. That there is hope for every home. That there is that there is something that you purpose in her life. That's why you are putting her there in that baby baby care job, and we uh, also entrust you, Lord, the four hours that you have given her to uh, work for for the, this gay couple. Um, her her purpose in her heart, you know, the cry of her heart is for you to use her, O oh God. And this is the opportunity that you have given her. May she maximize her time in a useful, in a useful uh, manner in a situation like this. May she uh, be guided by the Holy Spirit yes. to uh, share enlightening words to this gay couple, so that. Oh God, the the soul is so precious to you. But but if this, if some people are blinded by the lust of this world, so oh God, they yes, so, Lord, you're the only one who can send send them and draw them to your Son Jesus. Oh God, yes, Lord, so yes. may Sister Jo, may your will be fulfilled in Sister Jo, Lord God, oh. in working for this gay couple. And the rest oh. is all mystery to oh God. And it's only you because you are the one who wrote who write stories in heaven, oh God. And make her a soldier, soldier of the cross, and may your banner be always up there in the air so that everybody can see it, oh God, in her character. And this is our prayer in the most precious name of Jesus. Amen. 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 May I call on telephone number six three one five three nine. Yes, this is Brother Tom. Oh, hi, Brother Tom. Can you lift up our nation, also uh, missionaries and those uh, persecuted uh, 
pastors in different uh, country. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. We have one in the Philippines, and he's asking for prayer for his safety and his uh, protection. Hallelujah. We bless the holy name. Oh, Heavenly Father, we just lift up this nation to you, Lord God. We pray yes, for a revival Lord, to break out all over New York City, Nassau yes. County, Suffolk County, all yes, over Lord. New York State, all over New England, yes, all over the South, the Midwest, the Rocky Mountain States, the West Coast, California, Hawaii, Alaska. Oh, God, every territory that belongs to this nation, we pray for a great outpouring yes. of your Holy Spirit. Jesus. Revival. Oh, God, revive this nation, Lord God. We yes. pray you bring true love and unity in the body of Christ, dear Lord. Revive us again as a church, Lord God. Break away the spirit of territorial spirit, the spirit of division. Bind us together in true love, the agape love from heaven. Oh, God, bind us together in unity and love, dear God, to work together to win souls for you, Lord God, because the hour is running late. Oh, God. Give us your brokenness tonight. Give us your burden for lost souls, dear God. Send revival, dear God. For his judgment must ha- start with the house of God before it hits this world. Oh, God, bring unity amongst your people, dear God. And we would not get, uh, get uh, in dispute because of different doctrine or different uh, teachings, Lord God. But we would be like the church of God and other nations so that... They, the body of Christ works together to win souls for you, Lord God. Oh, God, bring true love and unity amongst your people, dear God, so we could reach out, Lord. We could be your hands, dear God. But send revival, send revival to our hearts, Father. Send revival to your people all across America, and also send revival to the unsaved people, Lord God. Touch and save all of our unsafe family members, Lord God, our unsaved loved ones, dear Lord. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. We ask you, Lord God, to... To uh, also, Lord God, be with that pastor in the Philippines, Lord. Protect him. Watch over him, Lord. Put a wall of fire around him. Cover him with your precious blood, dear God. We lift up, dear God, the persecuted church, dear God, in China, also North Korea, and in uh, the Middle East, dear God, in Pakistan, Afghanistan, uh, Iraq, Saeed. Lord God, we pray for his release from this prison, his wife and daughters, dear God. Intervene yes. miraculously, strengthen and revive him, and strengthen and revive our brothers and sisters in Christ who are in prison, who are going through such persecution in these prisons. Lord, fill them with your fire, your fresh anointing. Use them, Lord God, to win our whole prison to you, Lord God. Help us to believe you for the miraculous. Help us to believe you for great, mighty things, Lord God. Oh, God, you are a limitless God. Oh, God, your blessing strengthen our faith tonight in this prayer line. Let your fire come down from heaven and burn our hearts and burn our bones. Oh, God, set us on. Lord God, give us your compassion again. Give us your agape love from heaven for lost souls, dear God, again. Oh, God, help us, dear God. Give us your brokenness, Lord God. Oh, God, give us a glimpse of hell, dear God, so that we can see, Lord God, that we can snatch these souls from the fire into your light, dear God. Oh, God, we have the same compassion, Lord God. Like when we first got saved, we were so on fire for you. We were so hungry for you, Jesus. We were so hungry for your word. We wouldn't have to work for man or woman, dear God, to give us a prophetic word. We would to listen to your still, small voice, dear God. Also to obey your word, the word of God. Let us not run from place to place looking for a prophetic word. Hallelujah. Oh, God, prophetic word is good, Lord God, but we shouldn't let that be our heart or one desire. Oh, God, help us, dear God. We want to hear your still, small voice. But if we do hear from someone, Lord God, we, we thank you, Lord God. But we'd rather hear your voice, dear God, than any man or woman. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. We thank you, Father. We pray for revival, Lord God, in the Philippines and Samar and Takloban, Lord Jesus, those places that were devastated by the tornado, Lord. I mean, by the uh, by the hurricane, Lord God. By that typhoon, Lord. Oh, God, we pray for salvation for these people, Lord God, who've lost their family members, Lord, that have no food, no clothing, no shelter, Lord. We pray, dear God, the government will release the food to the people, Lord God. We pray, Father, that they'll allow ministries and and people to help these poor people to rebuild their homes, Father. Oh, God, supply their needs, Lord. Provide the materials. Provide the volunteers to help them, Lord, to rebuild, Father. 
Oh, thank you, Jesus. Send great revival to this needy area, Father God. We pray for mighty revival to break out all over the Philippines, Lord, and not only in the Philippines, to China, oh God, to, to Japan, to North Korea, Lord God, and South Korea. Also, Lord God, we lift up that brother, that pastor who's in North Korea, Lord God, who is sentenced to 15 years in the prison, Lord. We pray for his release, dear God. We pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ who are in prison, Lord God, North Korea in prison, Father. Oh, God, give them strength, Lord. We pray for their release, Lord. We pray for revival to break out in those prisons, Father. We pray for revival to break out all over North Korea, Lord, and in China, Lord, and in India, dear God, and in Indonesia, and Vietnam. Oh, God, Malaysia, and Thailand, and Burma, Nepal, Bangladesh, all over Asia, all over Africa, Lord, all over the Middle East, all over Eastern Europe, Poland, Russia, Western Europe, Lord God. All over Canada, Lord, Central America, South America, Lord. Oh, God, all over the Caribbean, all over the South Pacific, every island nation around the world, pour out your spirit, Lord. Send revival. Send revival to all the nations, Father. Pour out your spirit, dear God, we pray. Oh, God, revive our missionaries, dear God. Be with them, Lord God. Cover them with your precious blood. Fill them with your fire. Fill them with your fresh anointing, Lord God. Supply and provide their every need in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We love you tonight. Meet every need of your people on this prayer line, Father. Supply every need. Every need that's spoken and every need that's unspoken. Meet every need in Jesus' name. Do miracles and signs and mighty wonders tonight, Lord. Have thy way, Lord God. We love you. We bless you. We praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Tom. May I call on... Three four seven two nine nine. You have more prayer requests. Oh, go ahead. I would like for the team to lift up one for a test. We prayed for her before. She is critically ill in the hospital. What's her name? Her name is Tess. Yes. Critically ill in the hospital. We want to pray. We don't know which way the Lord is going to move, but we want to pray for her salvation again. That however she stands before God, that God will have mercy upon her and may she receive salvation. And um, I want to lift up another sister called Anna. Her Anna. Sister, her sister-in-law um, neglects her two children putting stress on her marriage because she spends a lot of time in the shelter. And we want to pray that the Lord will come and intervene. She says she's a Christian, but she's not doing the right thing. And, um, Amen. Hallelujah. Two cases. This is to test for salvation. She's in a critical state in the hospital. And mm-hmm. then the other one, Anna... I met on the train, and she was telling me this story. So can we lift up her sister-in-law? I don't know the sister-in-law as me. And the Amen. brother is stressed out because of what his wife is doing. Yes. Okay. May I call on uh, 347299? Hi, good evening, Pastor Marina. Oh, hi, Sister Um can you lift up Sister Cynthia's prayer request? Uh, Tess is in critical condition and she needs salvation also. Mm-hmm. Also, Anna, uh, this is um, the sister-in-law neglect her two children and Sister um, Cynthia uh, is requ- uh, requesting prayers for her also that her life will be in order. Also, can you lift up all the children and those who are also sick? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we thank you, God. We thank you, Father God, for your um, manifest presence, O God, Lord, in this prayer line, O God. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that, O God, Lord, even before we come... uh, before your holy throne, O oh God, Lord, you know already, O oh God, our concerns, O oh God, 
And Lord, we thank you, Lord Jesus, that there's nothing, oh God, that can touch your throne, oh God. Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Father God. Hallelujah, Lord. Lord, we ask for your Holy Spirit right now, oh God, Lord, to intercede through us, oh God, for, Lord, um, we know not, oh God, but to pray for, oh God. Lord, uh, we see so many needs, oh God. Lord, there's so many sick, oh God, and dying, Lord God, without knowing you, God. Lord, we ask, oh God, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, your manifest presence, oh God, will come upon them their lives, oh God. Lord, I specifically pray, oh God, for Tess, oh God, who's in critical condition, oh God. Lord, I don't know, God, what sickness she's going through right now, oh God. But Lord God, Lord, you said in your word, oh God, that this sickness is not unto death, but unto your glory, oh God. Lord, let your will be done, O oh God. In the Lord, I know God, Lord Jesus, that Lord, even O oh God, though, even though, Lord God, a person is going through such a critical condition in the hospital, Lord God, Lord, you are able to speak to their hearts, O oh God. Yes. Lord, I know, Lord Jesus, that you are working through right now, O oh God, in her Jesus, so in such a condition, life, O oh God, to her spirit right now, in the name of Jesus, O oh God. Lord, I pray, O oh God, in such a special way, oh God. Lord, until when is her life span, oh God? But Lord Jesus, Lord, I pray, God, that you will not allow this woman, oh God, to sleep away, oh God, without knowing you, oh God. Lord, speak life, oh God, in her spirit right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, let her experience, oh God, the reality of who you are, oh God, that Lord Jesus, there is heaven and earth, oh God. Lord, while she is here on earth, oh God, Father, I pray, oh God, that Lord Jesus, you will wake her up, oh God, in the spirit realm of who you are, to the saving knowledge of who you are, oh God. Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, for this woman, oh God, Lord, Lord, we cry out for this soul, Lord God, with this precious soul, Lord God, that you've come to die for, oh God. Lord, let them know, let her know who you are, oh God, for all, Lord God, who are dying and sick right now, oh God, Lord, without knowing you, Lord Jesus, I pray, oh God, Lord, for the last time, oh God, Lord, speak life to them, oh God, Lord, let them, oh God, Wake up, oh God, to the reality, Lord God, that, Lord Jesus, you don't want them to go to hell, Lord God. Lord, so I pray, oh God, right now, Jesus, oh God, Lord, 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 speak life, oh God. Lord, the way you speak life, oh God, in you, Lord God, you call out Lazarus, oh God, Lord, to raise up, to rise up, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you, Lord God, call out to their spirit to rise up, oh God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Lord, let them not go to hell, Lord God. Lord, I pray, oh God, Lord, mercy be upon them, oh God, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father God, Lord, I pray, oh God, as well, Lord God, to honor for Anna, Lord Jesus. Lord, request for Anna, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, salvation, oh God, to her sister, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, Lord Jesus, oh God, that Lord God, you will, Lord God, wake up their spirit, oh God. Wake up, oh God, the, the, the mother nature in them, oh God. Lord, the loving spirit in them, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, Lord Jesus, that you would, Lord God, bring them to their senses, oh God. Lord, I pray. Praise God, Lord, that you will captivate their hearts, oh God. Lord, without knowing you, Lord God, they will not even know, God, what rightful living is all about, oh God. Lord, help them, oh God. Help them, Lord Jesus, oh God, to rise up beneath, oh God, their situation right now, oh God. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will, Lord God, keep them, oh God. Lord, keep them, meet them, oh God. In such a special way, oh God. Lord, some of them, oh God, are sleeping away because of the hardness, oh God, or the difficulty of life, oh God. Lord, I pray that you will give them, oh God, the strength, oh God, to move on a day-to-day basis, oh God. Lord, whatever, oh God, they're going through, oh God, that make them, Lord God, live the way they live, oh God. Lord, I pray 
Lord Jesus, oh God, that you would help them, oh God, go through, bring them through, oh God. Lord, bring them through, Lord, remove every obstacle, Lord God, from seeing you, Lord God. Let them know, God, Lord Jesus, that they can always turn to you, oh God. Lord Jesus, oh God, Lord Give them, O oh God, a supernatural strength and power, O oh God, Lord, to move into this life, O oh God. O oh God, Lord, let them turn to you, O oh God. Lord, give them a hunger and thirst for you, Lord God. Lord, open up their eyes, O oh God, to, to heavenly things, O oh God. Lord Jesus, Lord, it is impossible, Lord God, unless, O oh God, they walk, O oh God, you know, mighty, mighty intimate relationship with you, Lord God. Oh, God, help us. Oh, God, help them. Help them, oh, God. Lord, help them, oh, God. Lord, these people, Lord God, other people, Lord God, who's going through, God, difficulty in life, oh, God, that they are, Lord, switching to other things rather than to you, Lord God. Lord, I pray, oh, God, Lord Jesus, that, Lord, you will give them a supernatural uh, hatred for sin, oh, God, that they may come to you, Lord God. Lord Jesus, oh God, help these people, Lord God, come to you, Lord God. Lord, bring them to their senses, oh God, that they cannot make it, oh God, in this life without you, oh God. Only you, Lord God, can pull them through, oh God, such difficulty and hardship in life, oh God. Lord, I ask, oh God, that Lord Jesus, you will do this, oh God, to everyone, oh God, Lord Jesus, who are, Lord, walking aimlessly in this life, oh God. Lord, let them know, God, that they have hope, oh God, that they have hope in you and you alone, Lord Jesus. Oh God, nothing in this earth, oh God, can satisfy a longing heart but you, Lord God. Lord, no material things, oh God, or no, um, no selfish selfish desire, oh God, can Lord God, um, can, um, satisfy any longing, oh God. Lord, we ask, oh God, Lord Jesus, all these things, oh God, because we believe in you, Lord God. We believe, oh God, that Lord Jesus, there is nothing impossible to you, Lord God. Lord, we ask this, and we are, uh, God, we are so hopeful in you, and we thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you're going to do, God, in the lives of these people. In your mighty and glorious name, oh God, we pray. Amen and amen, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Amen, amen. Thank you, Thank Lord. You. May I call on um, 917215? Hello, Pastor Marina. Sister Chiu. Hi, Sister um can you pray for encouragement for all families that is undergoing trials, uh, sufferings, and also for uh, relationships? Hallelujah. Okay. Uh, families and relationships. Especially those in the prayer line. Huh? Especially also, those in, in the, the prayer, prayer line. line, like... Um, Samantha, also, we have uh, friends that's going through um, hardship, just an encouragement for them. Uh-huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Also, uh, yes. Amen. Go ahead. Okay. <coughs> God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. He is so good to us. Yes, He is she says, He friends is so good to us. He is coming soon. He is coming soon. He is coming soon. He is so good to us. 
Lord, you are so good to us. You are faithful and true. Thank you once again, Lord, that you have brought us in this prayer line live today, Lord God. Thank you for all the intercessors that you have brought in this prayer line, Lord God. Thank you, Lord, oh God, for what you are doing in this one's life in this prayer line, Lord. Thank you for the many, many answered prayers in this prayer line, Lord God. Thank you for the many miracles that you have done in our life. That we stand in, oh Lord God, because you are a God of surprises. Our thoughts are not your thoughts. Your thoughts are higher than ours, Lord. We expect to happen things the way we think, Lord. But you answer in miraculous way, Lord. Oh God, we cannot phantom, Lord, your plan and purposes for our lives, oh God. And today, Lord God, I leave up to you every relationship, family relationship, husband and wife relationship, Lord. Oh God, church, uh, church members relationship, oh God. Father, I pray. I pray that there will be unity among all kinds of relationships. And you will be the head, Lord. You will be the center of every relationship, Lord God. I pray for our families, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for joy and peace that will rule and reign in the family, Lord. I pray, God, that you, O oh God, be the center of every family, of every couple, Lord God. I pray, Father, O oh God, that, Lord, O oh Jesus, husband and wife, O oh God, should understand and seek you with all their heart. That, Lord oh God, Jesus, you said, Lord, O oh Father, that uh, marriage is a sacred thing because it's from you, Lord. And to find a wife is a good thing, Lord. And Father, I pray that you preserve the family, O oh God, in this nation, Lord. That families are for men and women, Lord God, Jesus. Now that, your, that is your uh, plan, Lord God. And Father, I pray, O oh God, that Lord, you will bless the family, Lord God, O oh Father. I pray that you will keep every husband to love their wives as Jesus Christ loved the church, O oh God. And I pray, Father, that God... That every wife should submit the husband as unto the Lord, Lord Jesus. That be unity, O oh God, Jesus. That they will be drawn closer to you, Lord. That they will not listen to the lay of Satan, Lord. Father, because you said, Lord, O oh God, what God has joined together, no man can separate, Lord God. So, Father, I pray that let it be so, O oh God, among the Christian families and all the families, O oh God. Father, I pray for those who are contemplating divorce, Lord, that they will not listen to the lie of Satan, Lord, but healing and reconciliation will take place. Father, I pray that you touch yeah. their heart. I pray that you give them, Lord God, oh God, a hope, oh God, that is coming from you, Lord. Good love and and and, and joy in the heart of every couple, Lord God, Father. I pray for for Lord God, he is your love among them, Lord. The children will see, O oh God, your love in love, O oh God, Jesus. I pray, O oh God, Lord, that those who are contemplating divorce, Lord, that they will speak with all their hearts, O oh God, and that, Lord, you will touch them and bring healing and, and forgiveness, Lord God. Father, Almighty God, preserve our families in this country right now, Lord God. Oh, Father, because, Lord, uh, the enemy attacks the family because if the family is divided, Lord, our children will be divided. Father, our children will be destroyed. But God, raise up a standard, Lord, right now in the name of Jesus. We serve every family, oh God. Oh, Lord, raise them up, Lord, in the fear of you, Lord Jesus, my God. Oh, in the fear of oh God, Lord, you are the only one who can move, oh God, in every husband and wife relationship, Lord. But, Lord... You will strengthen marriage, Lord God, Father. Oh, God, oh, Jesus. I pray for all relationships among families and children, Lord. I pray for our children, Lord, that you preserve them, Lord God. You order the steps of God. You go before them and take them, and what's over them, you draw them close to you, Lord. I pray that they will not be separated from you, Lord God, Jesus, Lord. That you, God, Lord, will 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 woo them back to you, Lord God. I pray for every back to the as mother, Lord, um, children, Lord, that you will bring them back to you, Lord God. So, oh God, you will uh, create in them a desire for you, Lord God. You will speak to their hearts and be encouragement, Lord, and raise them up, oh God, to let us money to your goodness. I'm faithfulness, my God, oh Lord God, Almighty Father, you are 
you are faithful. I, I pray, Lord God, to every intercessor in this prayer line, Lord God, you know the needs of God. You know the hardship that we are going, that we are going through, Lord. No one is exempted, Lord. Whether it be financial, oh God, job, oh God, apartments, oh God, whatever they need, oh God. Lord Jesus, my God, you are the answer, Lord. You will never put your children to shame, Lord. But you will, oh God, answer them, oh God, the way we do not expect it, Lord. So, Father, I lift, for, I lift up each one of, of all your intercessors in this prayer line right now, my God. Oh, Jesus, with their needs, oh God, Lord. Oh, God, I pray that you open doors for those who have no jobs, my God. Do a miracle for those who his apartment, Lord, for those who have financial difficulties, Lord, send your angels, Lord, and let them know that there is nothing too hard for you to do, Lord, to meet their financial needs, oh God. And I thank you, my God, that you are faithful. I thank you, my God, that when we pray, oh God, you are, uh, you answer our prayer, oh God. Oh Lord God, nothing is too hard for you to do, Lord. I give up to you the glory of the Bernal. I pray for Pastor Mal and Pastor Marina. I pray, oh God, Lord, oh Jesus, that you will use them mightily, Lord God, doing souls for your kingdom, the ministry that you have put in their hands. I pray that you bless them, God. Yes, find them, God, oh Jesus. You touch people, people's lives and through this church, my God, oh Lord. Jesus, let your anointing flow, oh God. To the church, to Pastor Mel and Pastor Marina, and to all your workers, oh God, that you have used mightily, Lord God, in this prayer line. I pray for them, Lord Jesus, deliver them from any attack of the enemy, Lord. And God, keep them and watch over them, Lord, oh God, and do miracles to their lives, oh God, Lord Jesus. I thank you, Lord. I thank you so much, my God, that you are so good and so faithful to our lives, oh God. Lord, I give up to you the request of my of my friend, of the, the friend, of the director of activity in one of the nursing homes. I pray for her heart desire is, is to find a pastor, oh God, or a priest that will be able to minister to the resident senior residents, Lord. Father, I pray that you bring the right person, Lord God. I pray, oh God, you bring the right person, oh God, that has love for the seniors, Lord God. You know her heart desire, Lord. She's a Christian, Lord God. Father, I pray that, Lord, you answer, Lord. You will send the right pastor, oh God, the right place, oh God. I thank you, Lord, that you are a God who answers our cry tonight, Lord. And I pray for all the people that you have used in this prayer line. Sister Jeff, Sister Ashinja, uh, Lord God, oh Jesus, Father, Sister um. And all the other, um, other, other sisters and brothers that you have used in this prayer line, Sister Jenny, Lord, I pray for her, God. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, bless each one of them, Lord, and provide for their needs, so oh, God, you are good and you are faithful. And all those uh, silent listeners tonight, Lord, I pray for them. I pray, oh God, Lord, that you, oh God, Jesus, meet their needs. I know that they are here for you to, to for them to to feel your love. Oh God, I pray whatever their needs, Lord, you meet their needs, oh God. So bless each one in this prayer line tonight, oh God. Keep us safe, oh God. And I pray for the coming storm, Lord God. Father, I pray that you deliver us from any harm and danger, Lord. Keep, oh God, Lord Jesus, and watch over us, Lord God, oh Jesus, my God, Lord. I pray for our neighborhood, Lord. Put back the work of darkness in, our, in each one's neighborhood and among our brothers and sisters, Lord God. There's so many things happening, Lord God. But you will keep us, oh God. You will watch over us, oh God. And tonight, Lord God, make us sleep soundly tonight and give us heavenly dreams. And now, wake us up, Lord, yes, tomorrow Lord. morning, oh God, according <clears throat> to your will. To give you back the honor and the glory, which is yours now and forever. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen. Samaria, pray for me, Juliet. Okay, uh, Sister Juliet, we will call on Sister Cynthia and she will uh, mention you as we close up in prayer, okay? 
May I call on three four seven nine four five. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul and all that is within me. We bless your holy name tonight, O oh God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. For you are indeed a real God. We come and come and come. We keep coming, O oh God. Because there is answer to our prayers. We come because you are our Heavenly Father. We come because you are the one who is coming to a covenant relationship with you. We come because all that you are is who we are. And all that we are is what you took, O oh Lord God. Yes. So tonight we thank you, O oh Lord that we can stand on this prayer line and lift up situations and conditions and nations to you, O oh God, and individuals with whatever challenges are there. Yes, You've Lord. seen us coming tonight, O oh God. And you would let us know that even before we ask, you have already answered. And as we were coming, you saw us coming. So tonight, O oh Lord God, you saw us coming. That's why you told us, with all the things that is weighing us down and burden us down, O oh God. What did you say in your words? Seek ye first the kingdom of God, and everything else will be added unto us. Father, you have warned us tonight through your servant and your word. We are so preoccupied. Nations are so preoccupied, oh God, with inflation and what's going on in the world and all the natural disasters. But, Father God, tonight you have warned us. Are we concerned about eternity? Lord God Almighty, make us conscious. Tonight, Lord, the one, the two people I gave the little Bible to in the train. Father, you know how they're indifferent today. They don't want to be seen taking anything they don't want to hear. But the two who took the tracks from me, the little Bibles. Holy Spirit, you're a spirit who moves. And even before I gave it to them, you knew I was going to encounter them. I pray as they receive and they have it in their possession that you would cause them to internalize what they read. Bring about that level of consciousness and concern, O oh God, for you, Lord, and eternity, where are they going? So tonight, Father God, we have lifted up all these situations before you. We've asked, O oh God, that broken homes be mended. We ask, O oh God, that broken relationships between man and wife, man and woman be mended. We ask for rebellious children to come back home. We ask, O oh Lord, to house people, O oh God, who have no homes. We ask, O oh Lord, that our sicknesses and diseases, O oh God, go back and place it at Calvary and trust in your word that says, you took all our sicknesses and diseases into your own body that we may be set free. We ask, O oh God, cause us to internalize your word, O oh God. Trust your word. And, O oh Lord, as we read it, as they read it, O oh Father God, as they hear it, O oh God, let healing come to their sick and riddled body. We pray also, God, we ask for those, O oh Lord, who are the emotionally distraught, who are troubled by situations, and we bring here, Lord, Sister Juliet, O oh Lord, increase her in her faith. Cause when she reads your word that she increases in faith and trust to you, O oh God. For you are her help. Cause her to notice. 
we bring to you also Emmanuel, oh God, we thank you for how he's making strides, oh God. We thank you for all his improvement, Lord. We thank you that tonight, oh God, that that spirit of fear, oh God, as we lift him up, Lord Jesus, he will get better and better, more and more confident in the world and who he is in you. Oh, Lord, my God, your servant has lifted up nations, oh God, to you. For your word tells us, oh God, to go and make disciples of all people, <laughs> that you willing that all shall be saved and none shall perish. That's the purpose of going to Calvary. You didn't come for your own. You came for the Gentiles those who were doomed for eternal damnation. You came, O oh God, to our rescue. And so tonight, what can we say but to say thank you, Lord, for those of us whom you have brought in, for those of us you give grace unto every day that we can continue to surrender and intercede for all peoples and uh, and all our prayer connections, O oh Lord, our bread ring in the radio stations who have outreaches in other countries. Father God, we thank you. We thank you because your eyes are upon the work that is being done. You are strengthening us daily, making us bolder. And so this year, 2014, oh God, your work in your kingdom must be upgraded. It must be upgraded. There must be a, a, a newness, renewal, restoration, reviewing. Father God, there must be changed because you have said it when you told us from the beginning of the year. A new season, a new month, and a new year. Victory is there for your people. Oh, Father God, I pray tonight you help me and you help all of us to keep our eyes on Jesus. For he is the problem solver, the pain bearer. He is our deliverer. In him is hope. We will trust him for he is our covering, our shelter. So tonight, Father God, even as we have come again, we have glorified you, God. We have praised you. We have lifted up your name on high. And so we go away with that confidence that your ears have been inclined onto our Christ tonight. You have heard us and you have answered us. And so we give you thanks. We give you thanks. We praise you and we bless you. Today and forever, the glory awaits you, O oh God. Give us testimonies, O oh God. Give us testimonies. So that's what you want. Because we have overcome with the word of our testimony and the blood of the Lamb. We give you thanks. We praise you and bless you. For in Jesus' name have we prayed tonight. Amen. 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 We give you praise, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you for tonight. To all our prayer intercessors, we thank you and God bless you until we meet again on Friday. And we thank God for the victory tonight. Hallelujah. As we go forth. Uh, we will close in worship. Hallelujah. On behalf of Glory Tabernacle Healing and Deliverance uh, Prayer Line and also Consuming Fire Radio Ministry, we bid you good night and have a blessed night tonight. Hallelujah. Good night.
Good night, everyone. Good night. God bless everybody. Good night. Your conference recording has stopped. This conference is being recorded. Your conference recording has stopped. Goodbye.